हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू लेसन नंबर फोर वी आर स्टडिंग मोबिलाइजेशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेस एंड दिस इज द फिफ्थ वीडियो ऑफ दिस लेसन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द डिजिटाइजेशन ऑफ द इकोनॉमी ओके डिजिटाइजेशन एंड डिजिटलाइजेशन कैन बी इंटरचेंजेबली यूज दे आर वन एंड द सेम थिंग सो समवेयर यू विल सी द वर्ड डिजिटलाइजेशन ओके and somewhere you will see digitization so when we talk about this two words in the context of economics they uh, basically mean the same thing so you can call digitization of economy or digitalization of economy it is one and the same thing now what is the meaning of uh, digitizing the economy or digitalizing the economy in very very simple terms digitizing the economy means incorporating technology in economic transactions so we use the modern technologies like you know computer software uh, then you know internet uh, ai blockchain different kinds of technology which makes uh, economic transactions uh, digital or you know using some device that process is called digitizing the economy basically we are incorporating technology into our day to day transactions uh it basically uh, you know means uh integrating uh, uh you know uh, the digital technologies applying the digital technologies in different aspects of economic activity including production distribution exchange consumption of goods and services etc so integration and application of digital technologies in different aspects of economic activities is called digitizing the economy so it basically includes use of tools like internet mobile technologies digital payment systems cloud computing ai blockchain etc to improve efficiency connectivity transparency within the economy so these are the various uh, you know benefits that we get um, that that we get out of digitization of economy now what are the various components of uh, digitization so the first one is the digital infrastructure okay in order to digitize we need to have the digital infrastructure so what does this infrastructure include it includes having mobile networks internet connectivity broadband towers etc so digital infrastructure is a must that is the first component second one is digital transactions so uh, you know the transact the we should have a system whereby we will have we, we can have uh, you know uh, uh cashless transactions uh so uh, the technologies such as upi unified payment interface mobile wallets e banking then direct benefit transfers dbt uh, from government to directly to the beneficiary account these are the uh, you know various types of digital transactions which happen through digital technology so again this is an important component of digitizing the economy then the third one is having e commerce and digital markets uh you know facilitating online trade and market places that is another component of digitization of economy automation and using of artificial intelligence we have to use the technology in production and service delivery for increase of efficiency so what happens with this efficiency basically increases so again incorporating this into economy is a part of digitization of economy then data driven decision making uh leveraging you know technologies like big data you must have heard about big data uh, whereby you know large data sets are analyzed using computer coding and programs so leveraging big data and analytics for strategic planning and resource allocation so again this is part of uh, digitization of economy so from these you will understand that digitization is a very broad concept it includes various things so these five i have listed here and i hope uh, from this you will understand how uh, you know uh, broad this uh, this entire uh, this concept is so digitization um, is a means of better resource mobilization actually so we are studying about resource mobilization in this uh, particular uh, you know video so uh, 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 you know what what now we have to look at digitization is from the point of view of how resource mobilization becomes more efficient how it becomes more transparent how it becomes uh, you know more uh, uh, beneficial for the entire country 
सो डिजिटाइजिंग द इकोनॉमी एनहांसेज रिसोर्स मोबिलाइजेशन बाय इम्प्रूविंग एफिशियंसी ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड एक्सेस टू फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्सेस एंड हाउ इट हैपन्स लेट एस लुक एट इट इन एन एलोबरेट वे फर्स्ट वन इज एफिशियंट एलोकेशन सो एफिशियंट एलोकेशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेज हैपन्स बिकॉज फर्स्ट वन इज अ रिड्यूस ट्रांजेक्शन कॉस्ट सो बाय एनेबलिंग डायरेक्ट ट्रांसफर्स एंड रिड्यूसिंग इंटरमीजरीज द यू नो दिस अलाउज द गवर्नमेंट टू ट्रांसफर द रिसोर्सेज और टू रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूट द रिसोर्सेज यू नो इन अ मोर एफिशियंट वे विदाउट यू नो मच लीकेजेस एट्सेट्रा एंड विथ लेस ट्रांजेक्शन कॉस्ट ऑल्सो सो दिस अलाउज रिसोर्सेज टू फ्लो मोर एफिशियंटली अक्रॉस डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स एंड द ट्रांजेक्शन कॉस्ट आर ऑल्सो रेड्यूस्ड ऑप्टिमाइज्ड डेटा यूसेज डिजिटल टूल्स प्रोवाइड रियल टाइम डेटा ऑन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज विच एनेबल्स पॉलिसी मेकरस एंड बिजनेसेज टू एलोकेट रिसोर्सेज मोर इफेक्टिवली बेस्ड ऑन एक्यूरेट डिमांड एंड सप्लाई इनसाइट्स ऑब्वियसली इफ वी हैव रियल टाइम इनसाइट्स यू नो डेटा देन वी कैन मेक अ मोर एक्यूरेट एंड प्रडिक्टिव डिसीजन देन द सेकेंड वन इज बाय प्रोवाइडिंग वाइडर फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन सो हाउ डिजिटलाइजेशन हेल्प्स विथ यू नो बेटर रिसोर्स एलोकेशन बाय प्रोवाइडिंग वाइडर फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन मोर एक्सेस टू बैंकिंग मोर एक्सेस टू क्रेडिट एंड इंश्योरेंस एट्सेट्रा हाउ अगेन लेट एस सी एक्सेस टू बैंकिंग इम्प्रूव सो थ्रू डिजिटल वॉलेट्स ऑनलाइन बैंकिंग यू पी आई लाइक सिस्टम्स द अनबैंक एंड द अंडर बैंक पॉपुलेशन दे आर ब्रॉट इन टू द फॉर्मल फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम थ्रू दीज डिफरेंट मीन्स then growth of microfinance is also seen this is also because of the uh, digitalizing the transactions so mobile banking and fintech platforms empower small businesses and individuals to access credit and saving mechanisms mobilizing idle resources for example i'll give you a very simple example uh, you know ever since the uh, the stock markets um, uh, could be accessed through digital mode through online mode people have started investing more into stocks and bonds and mutual funds etc so there are various platforms like grow zero da etc which provide a very easy way to uh, individuals to less financial literate also to invest in various kinds of saving schemes so you know this is again the power of digitalizing the uh, economy right then crowd funding and peer to peer lending p2p lending is also possible it makes resource pooling easier it allows capital to be raised from diverse sources uh, uh, you know so this is a kind of digital innovation crowdfunding and p2p lending various platforms are available then the third way in which digitalization helps in uh, better resource allocation is by increasing the revenue mobilization for the government how because tax collection efficiency improves digital transactions it reduces the cash based and informal economic activities increasing tax compliance and government revenue so uh, since uh, you know more people are then brought into the formal channels so it is easier for government to track the economic activity and to increase the tax compliance and thereby government revenue also real time monitoring is possible it is easy to track transactions reducing the evasion and leakages and tax base also gets widened easy to identify untaxed or undertaxed individuals and businesses so this is all possible because of the digitization now enhanced investment channels this is another way in which digitization helps in better resource allocation enhanced investment channel how digital marketplaces so various platforms like uh, e-commerce stock exchanges digital asset markets they make investment opportunities more accessible and inclusive this is what i have told you previously okay and then there is a global integration also so uh, today sitting in india we can invest in other markets also and uh, people from foreign countries can also invest in india so digital economies they connect the local businesses to global markets which can help in attracting foreign investment and also mobilize the external financial resources okay so we can attract foreign investment uh, our local businesses can be connected to the global market they can sell their products in the global market so global integration also happens because of digitization so these are the various benefits of digitizing the economy 
then fifth one is transparency and accountability increases it goes without saying actually so how uh, there is a reduced corruption digitization curtails leakages in subsidy distribution welfare payments and government procurement through dbt and blockchain technology so it goes without saying that leakages reduce because there is a direct benefit transfer direct subsidy transfer and you know uh, uh, directly from the government account to the beneficiary account it happens so there is a lot of reduction in intermediaries and it's uh, you know all all the people who used to previously siphon of the government money then there is uh, you know basically improved governance also obviously public finance becomes more accountable with digital tracking systems which allows better mobilization of public resources then the sixth one is automation and uh, uh, you know productivity gains this also happens because of digitization which ultimately results into better resource allocation so uh, digital um, uh, you know tools streamline processes in sectors like agriculture manufacturing and services leading to better resource utilization so there is a streamlining process uh, streamlining process in various sectors right right digitization reduce resource wastage by automating the redundant tasks uh, freeing human capital for more productive activities and also you know there is a increase in productivity also because of streamlining this processes then uh, you know formalization is also encouraged because of digitization more uh, part of the economy moves towards the formal uh, sector uh, from the informal one so digitization incentivizes informal businesses to register formally by providing access to digital payment credit and markets and this enhances their capacity to basically mobilize financial and material resources efficiently okay so again uh, you know um, uh, this is very clear and last one is that you know there is an economic multiplier effect also because of digitization so by integrating the digital infrastructure into resource mobilization the economy benefits from a multiplier effect how so because of the because of the uh, you know enhanced access to credit efficient public spending and increased investment drive uh, and increased investment it drives the overall growth employment and wealth creation so there is a uh, multiplier effect for example if we invest 1 rupee in digitization it will give benefit of say 5 rupees to the overall economy because of the overall increase in uh, you know various aspects of digitization for example increase investment increase spending increased overall growth increased savings increased employment increased wealth creation etc so basically digitization strengthens the foundation of resource mobilization okay so it strengthens the foundation of resource mobilization how we have seen above and uh, you know it reduces uh, 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 it reduces the inefficiencies it improves access uh, you know it fosters trusts in the economic systems and this enables both the public and private sectors to uh, mobilize and deploy resources more effectively for economic growth and development so uh, from this i hope you have understood the importance of digitization of economy now uh, again this is easier said than done there are obviously various challenges to digitization also so that we are going to see what is the status of digitization in the indian economy what are the various challenges also what are the various schemes of the government towards it that we are going to see in the following videos thank you